Hey YouTube, it's Marcus again. I was not expecting to record a video at all today, but I also wasn't expecting what happened today to happen. Earlier this morning, before I went into work, I was watching a video, it's a prophetic compilation of words given about October and November. Essentially in the video, there's a bunch of prophetic words about October and into November, talking about not being able to access your money from the bank, talking about, um, political things going on, talking about wars and rumors of wars, things of that nature. Now, I don't wanna scare you, so I'll tell you from the get-go that it is believed we can pray against this and, and turn it around. But understand that it is something that is in the works, so to speak, right? So we must pray if we don't want this thing to happen. So I watched that video. It was the last thing I did before I left for work. I turn off my TV when the video ends, I go to work, and I work in a in an office, a small office, and I happen to work with two other people who are heavily invested in crypto, right? That alone, I feel, is a confirmation from the Lord to me personally that I'm in the right thing because, you know, doing a little research, as of March, only 20% of the U.S. population has messed with crypto in any kind of way, and only 19% of that 20% um, looks at crypto in a positive light, which equates to about 3.8% of the U.S. population. In other words, when this transition happens, there's going to be a very small amount of people who are prepared and a lot of people who are blindsided, right? By transition, I'm talking about changing to the new financial system and what that looks like, right? Because as we understand, there's likely a collapse before everything the new is raised up but one of the guys i work with that's heavily invested in crypto is actually my oic which stands for officer in charge it's a military term basically my my supervisor one of my superiors right he's big into crypto he has a lot of xrp so he'll be doing fine in the in the somewhat near future um and he struck up a random conversation with me of course it was about crypto because that's what we have in common he's actually uh, helped me learn certain things. He's the one who made me aware of ISO 2022, which basically makes it plain that yes, this new financial system is a legit thing that is happening. But somewhere along the lines in our conversation, he's talking about how, you know, he's happy for me and he wants to leave the army as well. He's talking about his plans for, you know, once his crypto takes off, he'll probably be out of the army within six months. And he tells me, you know, I'm all set. I'm out of the army now and I just got to wait. It's just a waiting game for me because I already have my crypto. He knows I have XRP. He knows I'm invested in some other things. And then he says, I'm waiting on two events. And he says, there's two dates I'm looking at, November 3rd and November 20 something. I don't remember exactly. I want to say 27th, but don't quote me on that. Then he says, there's this guy on Twitter that he follows. Side note, I do not believe my OIC is a Christian, right? Because talking crypto with him in the past, he's talking to me about reading charts and technical analysis and all that, which is all good and well. And if you know how to do that, awesome, right? But I told him, well, for me, it's pretty much spiritual. You know, I know some basics uh, about trading and whatnot, uh, but I don't, I don't read charts. I don't know <laughs> what to look for and you know, how to project based on what the chart looks like. I don't know any of that. I told him it's, it's spiritual for me, you know, and he never, when I, whenever I mention that he doesn't, he doesn't criticize me, but he never goes any deeper, any further. So I just don't have a sense that he's a Christian, you know, however, on more than one occasion, this being one of them, he has spoken prophetically to me. I often say people speak prophetically without even realizing it, just in regular conversation. If you have ears to hear, you'll you'll catch it and you understand what I'm saying already. So today he's like, you know, I'm looking at these two key dates. Then he talks about this guy that he follows on Twitter who posts cryptic tweets, you know, riddles. But every time he posts something a little while later, it happens every time. And he often posts things connected to crypto. So he says some of the things he's expecting coming up are global liquidity issues, or in other words, not being able to access your money, right? The same thing that we've heard in these prophetic words. He says that 2024 is not going to happen, 
well, what happens in 2024? That's an election year, right? So the assumption is that's tied to the election. But then he more specifically states that Biden isn't going to finish his term. He says Biden's going to be removed from office one way or another. I don't know the exact way, but he won't complete his term. Then he mentions Donald Trump. At this point, I finally interject. That's another thing. This, this conversation that he started where he's basically saying everything that was in the video that I watched right before I went to work, I didn't influence this conversation at all. It was 100% him. But at that point, I finally interject and I give a little of my own two cents and kind of agreement with him. And then he continues. He mentioned some other things that I'm fully in agreement with. It's amazing how I don't think he's necessarily spiritually in tune. I don't know. I can't say for sure because I haven't asked him directly, but it's amazing how we're coming to the same conclusion or, or we're seeing the same thing, you know? And so I don't think it's any coincidence that I watched that video this morning. Then I go into work and my OIC starts talking about the same things. Again, this is not the first time this has happened where I've watched something or I've meditated on something with God. And then my OIC comes into work, starts a random conversation with me and talks about the exact same thing. So my word to you and to us as a people is to pray over October and into November. Okay. As certain prophetic people have said when they've warned about these negative things that are in the works for October is we can turn it around through prayer, right? So pray that God's will will prevail. Pray that the plans will be thwarted. Pray that everything will be turned around, right? Because I also think that this has potential to affect the timing of the wealth transfer or what we expect the timing to be. So we need to pray against these things, please. I think the, the October thing that everyone's sensing has a lot to do with the political landscape. So let's be in prayer.